Hey loves, this is Bobby, and I am here with another vlog. And this is going to be my 17th vlog. So yeah, this is going to be another short one because yeah, didn't do so great again. Um, I am still getting kind of migraines and stuff and with the migraines and stuff, I kind of failed to realize that my depression was creeping its way back in. Um, just being stuck at home constantly still. And then um, it is so freaking hot, like going outside right now is just like not an option. And then with all the fires we have and still kind of do have in California, it's just like everything is just making me feel like, Ugh. And all of it at once just kind of made me really not realize what the hell was going on with myself. So now that I realize it, I'm trying to get myself out of my funk. Um, I finished one book um, and I started and finished another one. So I've got two to talk about, which isn't bad. Um, the other thing is, is like with all this going on, I really fell out of all my reading and stuff and I failed every single one of my readathons from last month, which really made me feel kind of like, oh, because I was doing so well. I had myself so organized and I would have finished, but with everything, it just kind of didn't work out and it made me feel kind of like crap. But actually like going over what I didn't finish, I only missed five books, which wasn't that bad. Um, it was just like those five were the ones that were like the last book I needed for like every readathon. So it made it seem like I just failed at it but I really didn't because I read a lot of books um so yeah and then I haven't been doing like any filming and stuff because I've just been feeling like crap so I'm gonna get myself out of that I have to do my wrap up um for the month and then I finally asked about some readathons because with all of this going on I didn't even think about doing a TBR for October which sucks because October is my favorite time of the year like I love Halloween I love everything spooky I usually this is like the only time of the year where I actually like use like always set a TBR. Even if I'm not going to finish it, I get as many spooky books as I can and I wasn't filling it, but I finally got on Twitter and asked and I got recommended quite a few good ones. So I think there's three or four readathons that I want to try doing. Um, I've already built up my TBR. I just got to get those videos filmed and um, a lot of these books don't even cross over all that much. Like I, it's a lot less than what I've been doing because I've been doing like 23 books or so. Um, one of the readathons though has 15 prompts but I don't know if I'm going to go for all 15 because some of the prompts I don't actually like and one of the ones on there I really don't like so I probably won't be doing that but I'm going to take it a little easier and just read what I want to read and October is all spooky so yes um but yeah so that's what's going on but like I said this will be a really quick little uh, what you call it, a uh, vlog going because I only did two books. Um, this one I already talked about, but I ended up finishing it, and that is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. I really enjoyed this one. It was just a lot of fun. Like, this was a fun freaking book. This is, um, a, what you call it, the main character, her best friend dies, along with some of the popular girls, but everyone thinks that they committed suicide. She doesn't believe it. She brings her best friend and accidentally brings back the popular girls. Um, this has a lot of like learning about yourself and learning about people that, you know, just because you don't like them doesn't mean that they're terrible people. Um, and sometimes, you know, friendships aren't the best. Um, this was, um, a lot like, uh, the hell was the name of that book? I read not last month, the month before. Um, this is like a mashup of um, These Witches Don't Burn and um, the past and other things that should uh, stay buried. Um, it's literally like those two books kind of had a baby and I loved both of those. Well, I really enjoyed both of them. So I really loved this one. Like everything about it was just really fun. Um, I fully on recommend it. I think I'm gonna probably go with like, I think I went with four, four stars with this one, but yeah. So this one gets highly recommended for me if you just want something really, really fun. YA kind of got, we've got witches, we've got kind of zombies, we've got a lot going on, but it's really cool. The next one that I read was the last book that I ended up reading for the month. Um, I liked 
parts of it, but parts of it I didn't care for too much, so it kind of like left the rating. I didn't really know. Um, but that is um, A Blade So Black by L.L. McKinney. Um, I listened to the audiobook for this because I was listening to it while I was building my mom her, um, her desk because she is now working from home and I needed something. This was like one of the ones that was like on most of my TBRs so I picked it up and I was really excited for it. Um, this is a Alice in Wonderland retelling um, but Alice in here she knows like martial arts and she knows how to use weapons and stuff like that. It was really cool. Like the action is really really fun. Um, the world building is pretty cool and stuff the way it mashes up you know Alice and stuff like that. Um, the one thing though that I really really did not like was the romance. It had a uh, kind of love triangle that did not need to happen and the main kind of more focused that's why I laugh when they do love triangles but there's always that one that's more focused I did not like the one that was main focused because it has um like a trope I won't spoil it but it has a trope that I really really hate in romances and it just it, it grosses me out especially when one of the characters is an underage you know like teenager it's like mmm no but it was a lot of action like I definitely still want to read the second one because I want to know where it's going but it was a lot of fun um I recommend it especially if you like retellings if you like Alice in Wonderland um I recommend it like I said mine was just the romance but it's a a trope that a lot of people do actually like for that romance pairing but for me it's just no bueno but yeah I recommend it though um I think I went with like 3.5 Five on this one because there was just and like I said I listened to the audiobook and the audiobook just didn't flow right this is one of those ones where I kind of wish I would have actually just read it but like I said I was doing something um while I was listening to it um but yeah so there was just something about the audiobook like I don't know it wasn't that the voices or the reader was bad it was just I don't know some of it just didn't eh, that and I didn't like um the main character Alice's mom she really got on my nerves I don't like that super overbearing protective parent I didn't grow up with that so when I read about it it just like it irritates me because it's like dude leave your kid alone like trust them even though in here I guess she has a reason for it but still it's just like ugh. but yeah I do recommend it though like like I said if you like retellings and you like Alice in Wonderland I definitely recommend it but yep there is my week um I said this is going to be another short one since that's all I read but I've got my TBR for October made I am going to hopefully um, today is Sunday the 4th so I am hopefully going to film it tomorrow I'm gonna get up do my makeup and film these TBRs because like I said I think it's three I think I have four lined up but um I'm not sure how many I'm actually going to do three of them though I know for sure I want to do because they sounded really really fun and they are based off of three of my favorite movie t slash one tv show movies and tv shows so the other one though seems like a lot of fun as well so I'm going to see if I can get some crossover on them but I don't want to give myself you know a 20 plus tbr just for the fact that it's the fourth and I still haven't even picked up a book and there's one book though that is going to be my project for this month and it's a heifer I think it's over I'm staring at it right now and I'm pretty sure it's over a thousand pages and that's like one that I've always wanted to read so you can probably guess what it is just by that alone but it's like a staple in horror and I've always wanted to read it and this seems like the best time of the year but I still have all the other books that I want to do so I don't know I'm gonna be a little ambitious but I'm not gonna be as ambitious as I've been just for the fact that like I said you know that wonderful monster we know as that lovely depression monster is just like clawing its way back out at to me so I need to get out of this fucking funk before I get deeper so there we go that was my very lackluster week but I did watch some tv which I haven't done in a while and I liked it I ended up getting into um Schitt's Creek it's on Netflix if you haven't watched it watch it it is phenomenal it is hilarious it is queer 
and there is like a no homophobia like rule on the show like the one of the main romances is a queer romance and you experience no homophobia and it is so beautiful i have laughed so hard that i was crying i freaking actually like cried on some of the episodes because they were so fucking beautiful like watch it it's hilarious it's heartwarming it is wholesome and fucking like i said it's just hilarious shit's creek like i said they just added the last season onto netflix so if you can watch it i highly recommend that show the episodes are there's six seasons and the episodes are only 30 minutes so you can blow through it really fast but yeah so here is to you know fingers crossed that next week will work out hopefully let's let's get this i got this i got this I've already started making my plans for my day so I can not lay in bed like a lump for days on end. So there we go. I will catch up with you guys later. And like I said, hopefully by the end of the week, I will have my October TBR up, even though I'm planning on starting it hopefully tomorrow as well, since I want to get some stuff done. I'm going to listen to an audiobook because I know that'll help. So there we go. That's what's what. As always, you guys, happy reading, and I will catch up with you later. Bye.